Storm to said several auto retailers' Q3 results were walloped by hurricanes. Dealership Group Dollar Millions Percent Changes Bury Revenue $1,602.100.048 Net Income $30.705.20% Group 1 Revenue $3,012.36.70% Net Income $29.900.16 Lithia Revenue $2,694.319% Net Income $51.904% Penske Revenue $5,524 0.407.20% net income $94.407.90% Sonic revenue $2,505.700.02 net income $19.407.30% 3RD quarter record source companies new and use ed vehicle sales and gross profits are expected to stabilize in the fourth quarter after hurricanes damaged stores and inventory in the third quarter, dragging down earnings for several publicly traded dealership groups. Any boost from sales of storm replacement vehicles will likely taper off next month, and lost service business can't be recovered. But new vehicle sales overall remain steady and recent acquisitions will pay off by year's end, company leaders said. We've seen a lot worse times, said Sonic Automotive Inc. CEO Scott Smith. We expect to see a strong fourth quarter. If the five publicly traded new vehicle dealership groups that reported earnings last week, Auto Nation Inc. will report on November 2, only Lithia Motors Inc. suffered no damage from hurricanes in the southeast, Houston and Puerto Rico. Lithia, of Medford, Oregon, has no stores in the storm-struck areas. But its net income slid 4% from a year earlier on rising costs in comparison with a strong year earlier quarter. Steady sales, plus added revenue and profit from 15 stores it bought so far this year, should boost Lithia's full-year earnings, CEO Brian DeBoer told Automotive News. DeBoer said Lithia is working on more acquisitions that might close this quarter or early next year. Penske Automotive Group Inc. of suburban Detroit cited acquisitions of two chains of use-only stores for gains of 7.9% in net and 7.2% in revenue. The group, which sold more used than new vehicles in the quarter, expects to add up to half a dozen additional use-only dealerships in the U.S. and the U.K. next year, Chairman Roger Penske said. Group 1 Automotive Inc. in Houston, acquired Beatles Group Limited, a 12-store dealership group in the U.K. in July, after acquiring another 12-store group in the U.K. last year. So now we've got some muscle, CEO Earl Hesterberg said. We can continue to outperform the market there. Group 1 posted strong operational results in the UK and at its core US dealerships, which posted a 2.5% rise in new vehicle unit sales on a same-store basis, substantially better than the industry's 1% drop in the quarter. It also saw a robust quarter at its sometimes troubled Brazilian stores, but due mainly to a $9 million after-tax hit from Hurricane Harvey, which closed all 28 of its stores in the Houston area temporarily, that fell 16% to $29.9 million. Adjusted net income, which strips out costs primarily related to the storm, rose 11% to $46.6 million. Closed stores at Asbury Automotive Group Inc. of Duluth, GA, revenue and net fell about 5% due to the storms. All 24 of its Florida stores, for example, closed briefly because of Hurricane Irma. At Sonic, of Charlotte, North Carolina, third quarter net income rose 7.3% from a year earlier to $19.4 million despite severe storms disrupting sales in two of Sonic's biggest markets and continued pressure on vehicle profit margins, most notably in BMW where a lack of fresh product has hurt sales. BMW is about 30% of Sonic's profit, said Jeff Dyke, Sonic's executive vice president of operations. We expect that to continue to be a struggle for us until the middle of next year when BMW has fresh products. Lithia and Penske said their BMW sales are below Urago levels. Through September, BMW brand's U.S. sales fell 4.3%, versus an industry-wide drop of 1.7%. The storm's impact ISNT over Penske's seven stores in Puerto Rico suffered significant damage from Hurricane Maria. Sales there were down 50% through October 25th, he said. We are still on generator sets at our locations, Penske said. We have been paying our people. But it's a day-to-day -day situation. When you look at Ponce and Mayaguez, that was a real storm that went through there and we had some significant damage. There is weak demand for vehicle service work at Penske's stores there as Puerto Ricans focus on their homes first, he said. That will be seen in Penske's fourth quarter results, he said. Asbury and Sonic have low expectations for making up for the service business they lost to the storms.
It's empty hotel rooms that you didn't fill for the night, so when the business comes back you can't duplicate the production in that shop, said Asbury Koo David Holt, who will become CEO on January 1st. You only have so much capacity. Even when you are closed and there is pent-up demand, the shop all of a sudden can't handle twice the amount of work, gone forever Sonic Stike said lost service revenue doesn't just happen when the storm shutters shops. It's the week leading up to it as people are focused on getting grocery products and other things. I don't think we make up those fixed days. If they're gone forever, Group 1's Hesterberg expects the replacement drive and lift in new and use said vehicle sales in storm-affected areas to continue beyond the fourth quarter. It will probably taper off from where it is now, but I think this will last for quite some time, he said. He was less certain about whether Group 1 will be able to maintain its improved new vehicle gross profit per unit. We'll have to see how supply and demand has balanced out as we go into winter, Hesterberg told analysts. Some OEMs are making concentrated efforts to reduce production. That will be a bigger factor as we move forward than it has been in the past. Roger Penske expects 2018 sales to be in the 16 million to 17 million range, citing reasonable interest rates and available credit. He predicted you said car sales will increase due to a continuing wave of off-lease vehicles. There might be some pressure, depending on pricing of the OEMs, if they've got to get more margin there, Penske said. It might push people to buy certified pre-owned. He expects new vehicle production will remain high. As long as the incentives are out there and they have got their room at the OEM level in their margin, I think they will continue to drive the business here in the U.S., he said. Hannah Lutz contributed to this report. Stormda said several auto retailers' Q3 results were walloped by hurricanes. Dealership group dollar millions percent changes per year even in $1,602.100.048 net income $30.705.20% group 1 revenue $3,012.36.70% net income $29.900.16 lithia revenue $2,694.319% net income $51.904% Penske revenue $5,524 $4.047.20% net income $94.407.90% Sonic revenue $2,505.700.02 net income $19.407.30% 3RD quarter record source companies